Good morning. Your Excellency, Yenlak Chinawatra, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand, Secretary General of ITU, Honorable Head of Government, Prime Ministers, Ministers, Members of Parliament, CEOs, Member of the Press, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. At the outset, let me join our estimate colleague leaders to send our deepest sympathy and sincere condolences to the people of Philippines and wish them a swift and quick recovery. I wish to thank uh, the Honorable Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand for inviting me and to participate and speak today at the ITU Connect Asia Pacific. So I bring you warm uh, greeting from my island nation, Vanuatu, and congratulate you on hosting this great event. On behalf of my delegation, I thank you for the courtesy extended to me and my delegation on Arvo. Please allow me this morning to take a few minutes to tell you about my country, our city achievement, our goals and view, why we are here today, and give you an invitation. First, my country, Vanuatu. Vanuatu is an archipelago of 82, 83 islands with a total population of 250,889. 91, 92, three, no, three born babies just at now. Power of connectivity. And we are located north of uh, beautiful New Zealand and east of robust Australia. You know, our country is one of the most exotic on earth with beautiful beaches, excellent resorts, and a mild climate year round. We are one of the best wreck dive in the world and fantastic snorkeling and diving. We have the most accessible volcano on earth that put an amazing show every five minutes. Our people are open and friendly. Do I look friendly? Thank you. We know ethnic tension. Our government is democratic and we welcome foreign investor. You know, our island is so lovely that one of the most famous uh, island novels in the world was written about us, Tall of the South Pacific, by Jim Mishner, with his island paradise of Bali High. That book became the award-winning play, movie, and TV show, South Pacific. We have been twice awarded the happiest place on earth, and that is my Vanuatu. Second, our city achievement. Our people, our press, and all our political parties support the expansion of our city. We have an open market with two major operators. We have an excellent independent ICT regulator who is fair and open. Our mobile uh, penetration has gone from just 5% to over 90% of households in just six years. We have built a $28 million government broadband network that functions extremely well. We established the first internet exchange in the Pacific Island, becoming a model for the Pacific region. We established the Integrated Government Initiative, our vision of it government, which is installing modern application in all ministry. We held the first ever national face-to-face -face video conference in which the Prime Minister answered tough questions from Atta Highland and ordinary citizen. Just two weeks ago, we passed three major policies, namely the National ICT Policy, the National Cybersecurity Policy, and the National University Access Policy. All these policies were drafted using experts, drawing on international experience, 
but customizing them in to local condition. All these policies were subject to very broad public consultation, including video conference with village and chief in the Outer Highland. Even as we speak now, our first summary cable has been laid. This will link Vanuatu to the outside wall with fantastic speed and capacity for the first time on, on our history. Because of all this uh, activity, Vanuatu has moved up in the United Nations rating of e-government by almost an entire standard deviation in just two years. Also because of this activity and progresses, I'm confident that Vanuatu is now of the best place in the Pacific to invest in ICT. Third, view and gold. Vanuatu see ICT as a key enabler and energizer for our effort across all sectors. We see ICT as important in themselves and also key in achieving all our Millennium Development Goals. Through our new national ICT policy, we have directed all ministry, policy makers, and major project manager to allocate a reasonable percentage of their budget to ICT as enabler and of success. Our target is to be the leader in ICT in Melanesia and our part of the world, the Pacific. We think we are well on the way to achieving this. We think that the international ICT flora need more input from Pacific Island nation and uh, we are ready to step up and fill this gap. So four, why we are here. We are concerned about possible loss of language and culture in the face of the tsunami of Western content. Our people speak English, French, Bishlama, and over 120 island language or dialect. We are the most linguistic and cultural dense country on earth. So we are quite concerned about possible linguistic and cultural loss. So we want to use our city to create local content. We want to document and celebrate local language and culture. We have summit, uh, submitted a grant application to this summit to support this very important activity. We strongly encourage country to start using our city in the same way. Additionally, our country has been rated by the UN as the most threatening on Earth by virtually every form of natural disaster. We are particularly concentrate, concerned with volcano activity and cyclone. Hence, we have summit on application to this summit to support the installation of a network of volcanic and weather monitoring station. This network will be linked via ICT in real time to our disaster headquarters. You know, I was about three weeks ago in one of our islands where has uh, several what's called landslide. And I went through my mobile phone, take some photos, and went to internet and be able to uh, inform our disaster office and also put that in Facebook. And that's really connectivity and ICT, the power of connectivity. Last but not the least, I want to invite you to visit our country. Many of you may never heard of Vanuatu before. I hope you will remember Vanuatu now. And as a leader of, in ICT in the Pacific, I invite you to our National ICT Days on May 17, 2014, to come see by yourself. I can promise you a huge parade and a warm welcome. I am demand that you will be enchanted with our beautiful progress, nation of Vanuatu. And I wish to thank you all for your attention. Merci beaucoup.